drug makers are working to get facilities fully online, but face an uncertain power supply and difficulty obtaining materials used in the manufacturing process. Asked when U.S. hospitals and pharmacies might see shortages as a result, he said, you might see some in the next two or three weeks if there's going to be additional shortages coming out of this situation. The FDA has warned of 40 drugs made in Puerto Rico that could face shortages, including treatments for cancer, rheumatoid arthritis and HIV, but has not named specific medicines. Most major drug companies have manufacturing facilities on the island, including Merck & Co., Johnson & Johnson, Amgen Inc., Bristol-Myers Squibb Co., Eli Lilly & Co., Pfizer Inc., AstraZeneca and GSK The FDA leader said he wants drug makers to provide the public with more information about the extent of the problems they are facing. He said the plants were all relying on backup generators for electricity, some of which were not designed to operate for sustained periods of time. I'm going to ask some of these companies to be a little more transparent around some of these issues, he said, adding that improvements would likely come slowly with potential setbacks along the way. As time goes on, we're going to see secondary impacts like the generators could start going down. Gottlieb said he was troubleshooting for individual companies on a daily basis and working with the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Department of Homeland Security to address issues such as fuel shortages and shipping problems that could stall operations. Bristol Myers said it has resumed limited operations to ship warehoused products. As of today, no product supply impact is expected, however, we continue to assess the challenging operational conditions on the island, spokesman Ken Dominsky said. Amgen, in a statement, said it was preparing to resume manufacturing in various plants over the next several weeks and did not anticipate an impact on supply to patients. Merck has one manufacturing facility on the island. We have brought power back online via on-site generators that will allow most operations to proceed, spokeswoman Claire Gillespie said. Of the list of drugs being closely monitored by FDA, 14 medicines are sourced solely out of Puerto Rico, Gottlieb said.